Hello everyone, my name is Lara Strevena. I am an electrical engineering student from Sukyo Pranoto Catholic University. My student identification number is 16.f1.0022. Today, I would like to present about my final project and the title is The Controlling of Maximum Power Point Tracker for Boost Voltage Doppler Application using STM 32F1038 CD. My presentation is divided into four chapters. The first, introduction, second, research method, third, result and discussion, and the last is conclusion. The first chapter is introduction. Nowadays, the using of photovoltaic as a renewable energy in solar power plant application increases as well as the increasing of energy for household consumption. Photovoltaic or PV is a device of converting energy from sunlight to electrical energy. To maximize the acquired power, it uses DC-DC converter with MPPT algorithm. The function of MPPT is to maximize the power based on power curve in PV. Besides using the MPPT algorithm, the development of this DC converter topology is also necessary or important. PUS is a type of DC DC converter which has the function to raise the low to high voltage, but DC DC PUS converter conventional has a weakness. It need many MPPT to implement it. Inverter multilevel needs to input sources so that the DC DC bus conventional converter topology is developed into bus voltage doubler. The second chapter is research method. Bus conventional have one switch and one inductor, have two operation modes. The operation modes if the switch on, the current will be flow through inductor and switch then back to Vs. If the switch off, the current will be flow through L, diode, and, and back to Vs. Maximum power point tracker. The function of MPPT is to maximize power based on power curve in PV, as you can see in this picture. The third chapter is result and discussion, boost voltage doubler have two switches and two inductors, have four operation modes. Operation mode 1, S2 and S1 are on. The current flows through L1 and L2 then back to voltage source or Vs. Operation mode 2, S2 is on. The current flow through L1. S1 is off. The current flow to L2. Operation mode 3, S2 is off, the current flow to L1. S1 is on, the current flow through L2. Operation mode 4, S2 and S1 are off, the current flows through L1 and L2 as shown in this picture. Simulation, the left picture is PV output power always tracking with MPPT output power and the right picture is the battery 1 and battery 2 output voltage. Simulation, the left picture is waveform of output voltage and the right picture is a waveform of current charging. Hardware implementation, this picture is the hardware implementation of MPPT boost voltage doubler. Hardware implementation, the left picture is the waveform of battery 1 output voltage and the right picture is the waveform of battery 2 output voltage. Hardware implementation, the left picture is the waveform of battery 2 current and the right picture is the waveform of battery 1 current. Hardware implementation, the left picture is the waveform of PV current and the right picture is the waveform of output voltage. Now, let's watch the video of hardware implementation. Multimeter in the left side is output voltage from PV and become input voltage for MPPT boost voltage doubler. Multimeter in the right side is output current from PV which the current is always constant at 1.68 ampere.
at the middle side is the hardware implementation of MPPT bus voltage doubler. At the oscilloscope is shown the waveform of output voltage. The last chapter is conclusion. MPPT bus voltage doubler result result in maximum power with efficiency 74.64% and be able to charge battery well. Also, DC-DC bus converter conventional can be replaced by bus voltage doubler. It can be proved that the topology implementation is able to work properly with using STM 32F1038CD. That's all of my presentation. I would like to give my special thanks to Dr. Leonardus Heropratomo as my academic advisor lecturer, Prof. Selamat Riyadi as the faculty of engineering chief, Dr. Florentinus Budistiawan and Mr. Arifin Wibisono as my lecturer, and also all of my friends who always support and help me. Thanks for watching my video. I hope all of you are healthy and happy as always. God bless!